welcome back to the stream i have a cutie little episode for everyone today um for the most part well there's some less cutier parts but you know you know and then my little life update um while everybody's coming in well none of this is major just how my day is gone um i as y'all know i have a little bug or something right now i've been having like fevers and whatnot um, and, uh, uh, I had one of those naps today where I, like, woke up feeling like I just came off of a fucking spaceship. Y'all know when you, like, take a nap and you wake up and you're like, Ugh. like, you feel worse. So we are in the Shrekiverse today, and I have a, uh, a really cutie episode planned for the day. And I'm really, um, excited for it. Right now we are at... Rapunzel's tower it's well it's not Rapunzel's no more it's actually Eugene's and, and Flynn's it's Eugene and Flynn's tower it ain't Rapunzel's my bad my bad yay made it live it's 1 a.m in the UK welcome Kathy um there's like a weird head cold virus going around I hit my work last week maybe that's what it is um what is on Flynn's face well that's about to be explained in a moment he also has a tattoo now now, when Shrekunzel sees this shit, bro, <laughs> thank you, Preach, for all the hand arts. Uh, did I get a makeover of those windows? No. No. I haven't changed, uh, I haven't changed anything about this part of the tower. No, 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 no. Um, um, but, uh, she's gonna shush herself. She's gonna be pissed. <laughs> thank you, Evelyn. Thank you, Trish. Thank you, Rachel. Um... Um, so anyway, guess who he's on the phone with right now, actually, who started calling him right as I, Shrekunzel called him for a chatty family call. He did not call her. She called him. He was over here on his computer. Now, he turned his computer off to talk to his mama, so I will give him that. Um, I will, uh, give him that. Oh, Lord, that's quite the first tattoo. Ain't it? Ain't it? Uh, it's quite, um, something. Also, so y'all know how he has his girlfriend video um so he's feeling a little guilty about the fact that he's not gonna be going to um prom with her and he he, he knows is that she keeps saying like oh yeah my parents are out of town my parents are out of town and it's been a while now so he wants to go play football okay um it's been a while now that she's been saying that and he's starting to realize that maybe her parents aren't coming back and Flynn is that type of dude that, like, you know, he he feels bad for other people. And he wants to be able to fix it, you know? That was, like, kind of how he was with Karma and whatever. Thank you, Jenny. Um, videos, comments on Instagram is making me hate her. She definitely has some nasty comments, for sure. For sure. And nasty behavior in general. Um, but that is Flynn's girlfriend. And, obviously, he likes her. And um, he is a little... Like, he just feels guilty and whatever. And so he has set something up for her tonight. Um, and whenever it's, like, actually nighttime in the game, he has set up this little this little picnic for them. Um, and he also went... Not Frankie showing up here. Girl, what do you want? Um, he also went and found a bunch of shit so they can have, like, a little fire. Um, so, cutie patootie. I don't know why Frankie's here. Uh, don't you know that uh, What's-His-Face don't live here no more? She's probably looking for Shrekly. Or she's starting trouble with trying to come look for Flynn. I don't know. I don't think so. Her and Shrek Lee are so not her just walking into place. Your man's is not here. Not her knocking on our bathroom door is the front door. Um, did what happened to my door? Did I ever have a door? Okay, send her home. Goodbye. Goodbye. Um, see, I take my parents aren't home as a hint. Like, come over. See, they've been dating for long enough now that he ain't ever seen her parents before. And, uh, he's getting a little worrisome. Now, also, Camp Occult is coming soon. And, um, with that being said, uh, his men we all know that his mentor is, um, Caleb. And Caleb finished the process of turning him and is kind of, like, overseeing his vampire stuff. And obviously there's higher, um, oh my god, now my thing falling, hold on. Um, obviously there's, like, higher up people in the vampire, 
uh, world that Caleb reports to as well. And now he's got, he's like responsible for Flynn and has like Flynn under his wing and whatever. Um, and so therefore Caleb was telling Flynn, like, um, I'm not impressed with you. Um, and if you don't start being impressive, you're not going to camp a cult basically type of shit because Caleb doesn't want to be embarrassed about it. Um, and Flynn knows from Versailles that Flynn would be the only one at Camp Occult to protect Karma. Not saying that Karma can't protect herself, we don't know, but, um, we know that she's the niece of Hades, and Hades is in the middle of a war, and then Karma is probably gonna have a fucking target on her back, and she is gonna have Possibly, if other people find out in the vampire community or whatever, a reputation from turning another... She turned a spellcaster into a vampire, which could definitely put the spellcasters looking at her crazy. Um, so, anyways, Flynn knows if he doesn't go to Camp Occult, Versailles already told him, like, um, Karma's probably gonna need somebody to look out for her. And Flynn said he doesn't want to talk to Karma, but he didn't say anything about he wouldn't protect her. So, anywho, I'm going to show you a video really quick. Now, this video, the music's probably about to get my shit flagged. But, you know what? It is what it is. I'm going to... Uh, I just realized that my other audio is muted. Anyways, um, I am going to uh, uh, show you a video of kind of like the past little bit leading up to where Flynn is sitting right now. Okay? With... And I kind of talked about some of it that's in the video, but just just a more all over type thing. So thank you, April. Thank you, kid. Thank you, Preach. Thank you, wholesome ghost. Um, sure, he doesn't want to talk to her. He, I mean, we'll see. Um, anyways, y'all enjoy this video. I'll be right back. point and so his whole tattoo is um and it was almost honestly kind of like an a reward for Flynn um and you would think that Flynn like hates Caleb right you would think that he just absolutely fucking hates him now also you can see that Flynn's kind of uh uh gotten more muscular over the past little bit um not that he wasn't already muscular before but yeah his tattoo is a literal like sword going down the middle of him, which I'm sure he's gonna look badass at Camp Occult. Now, now, obviously, he hasn't been over Shirkunzel's house since he got this tattoo. Um, and then his dad is just over here boohooing in his other son's room. I don't even think he pays attention to Flynn, and as far as, like, 
the stuff on his face, like, Flynn plays football, so, or he says he plays football, so he has, like, an excuse for everything, um, but his parents are so tied up in their own shit, and Flynn's, like, the one who's always so self-sufficient, you know what I mean, that they're just, like, not even paying attention, um, to him at this point, but anyways, you would think that he hates Caleb, um, quite the opposite, quite the opposite, Flynn's sentiments about Caleb are impressed. Caleb sure knows what he is doing, and Flynn has nothing but respect. And you know what's even crazier is while Karma, you know, stays boohooing, which I understand why she's boohooing, but at the same time, while she's over there boohooing, she still doesn't even realize all of the, like, the cause and effect ripples of how she's changed Flynn's life. And he's still keeping the secret for her as to what, like, you know, he isn't going and telling his parents what happened to him and everybody else what happened to him. So, um, yeah, but she don't even know. She does it's not like she knows or like she meant for that to happen either. I'm not saying she's a terrible person, but I'm saying like she just doesn't even realize. And I fear how that is going to weigh on her when she does, if she does and when she does realize um so yeah anyways once it's nighttime him and uh vidya are gonna have their little picnic out here hopefully she isn't stay oh oh not him talking to not him talking to eugene with the tattoo eugene's just smiling he don't give a fuck i'm telling you eugene does not give a fuck he does not give a fuck at all um, thank you so much, Cassie Beth, for resubscribing. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you, Lindsay, for the bracelet. Um, seems like I came in too late. I'll replay the video, um, in a little bit. This motherfucker, I want whatever he's on. Because he's just going through like- Who are you talking to on the computer? Oh, he done gone back to his old ways. Eugene said cool tat. <laughs> Uh, Shrek Hansel was always more strict and Eugene was always more chill. True. This man said, anyways, I gotta go message somebody on the computer really quick. Um, so Flynn needs to make some food <laughs> for this picnic. And Flynn doesn't even eat food, so, um, let's see if he can make some stuff. He can make some pre-mixed brownies. Hopefully she likes that. Oh, Eugene tried coming in there and talking to him. Um, we're actually busy right now. We're actually quite busy, um... Um, also another thing about Eugene, he's probably a lot less, uh, strict on Flynn, too, about, like, markings and things like that, because in his head, Flynn is still a spellcaster, and, um, are you okay? Oh, he's, like, doubling over in pain over his tummy, aw. Um, but, uh, so, and he knows Flynn goes to the Magic Realm a lot, so I'm sure he wouldn't be surprised if Flynn had some, like, markings on him. And was getting invested in his craft and whatever. And you see the little, like, jewel-looking thing on, like, that's added to his, uh, tattoo. So, and I'm not saying that's for sure, but I'm just saying, like, and also Eugene's a spellcaster. Like, I think he kind of understands, uh, uh, the vibe, I guess. Uh, not him, Tom Tom, yeah. Um... Is Vidya a fairy in this world? Like, could she be maybe going to Camp Occult? She is going. Um, and that was on... So, there was a Patreon post a while ago, but in it, basically... And that was before on here and YouTube, Camp Occult was even announced. But on it, it was like a little, that little invitation post that we saw on here, too. And it said on there, like, a list of people who had also received them, like, the invites so far. And Vidya was on the list. And I think, wasn't there a video that was on here, too? I think there was a video that was shown on here in YouTube, too, where Vidya and Flynn were talking about how they both got into Camp Occult. Um, so, yeah. So, okay, we have that made. Cool. Let's go ahead and make something else. Let's do some lunch type of stuff. Um, she would probably, ooh, make some steak tartar for her. Yeah, that's nice. That's bougie. This world is so expansive. Thank you. <laughs> um, um, yeah, and he said he wasn't sure if he was going, and she asked why. Yes, 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 yes. Now, we know at this point he's fucking going. He done worked his ass off to go. And, um, 
So yeah, he's going at this point. Now, is Karma going? That's the next question. Because Karma, last time we saw her, she said she was not fucking going. Um, but then Hades said, yes, she is. And I have a feeling that Karma versus Hades, Hades is gonna win. Damn, don't cut your finger, shit. Um, um, I'm so mad over the video. Yeah, yeah. Caleb is definitely the, the tougher, uh, mentor. Not a get together. They're talking about, no, we are not doing prom today. We are not doing prom today. Every single Saturday in the game, it tries to talk about prom. It is not prom yet. In my world, it's not prom yet. Don't even call me about fucking prom right now because, no, I hate that about Saturdays. I thought I got a mod to remove that to where it wasn't every Saturday. Like, I had to plan it, but whatever. Um, oh, no, I missed the video. I'll be playing it again in a little bit. Likes, deep thoughts. Um... Eugene seemed to enjoy that conversation with Flynn, especially when they explored more serious, thought-provoking topics. A good conversation becomes great once a mind is engaged. Okay, that's, um, lovely. Super lovely. Um, okay, we made this. This is actually really cute, and I'll get him to make, like, one more thing while we wait for it to be a little bit darker before we invite video over. Also, we are going to be, uh, after their little thing, we're going to be switching to, um, Grimace and um uh spark plugs family because they're going to be going on a vacation with their little family and grandma doris is going to be coming too which i'm really excited for um they're obviously going to the beach because they live up in the snowy ass mountains so they're going to be going to the beach we can make some vanilla cupcakes or we could make um minty mocha cupcakes spooky cookies or i don't think he's gonna make a whole ass cake but he can make like some little cupcakes um let's just do oh my god where'd they go let's just do the classic vanilla for now uh did you keep ninth place in the competition no i finished in 10th which was still super awesome uh thank you april for the superpower um but yeah, I'm excited to, uh, I wonder if green skin, I don't think the green sims burn, because they can't, like, tan or anything, um, but, like, the only one of them that should be able to burn, I think, would be, uh, Grimace, and, uh, the kids, I don't think burn either, um, so, if they have kids, Flynn and Vidya, what would they be, or would they have both traits? I think it's one or the other. <laughs> Thank you, Jenny, for the hanging lights! Um, so they would either be a fairy or a vampire. Thank you, Emily, for the heart puffs. Apparently, the romance festival is in town tonight. I love how Eugene is just so fucking unbothered right now as to Flynn having this whole ass sword tattoo. He's talking about, should I get a sports car? Are you having a, a midlife crisis? I remember when Shrek had his midlife crisis, he went on a whole fucking journey into the uh, unknown with Ogliana. Which, that whole thing will come back around later as to the footage from that. Um, we need a boy fairy. Yeah, we don't have any boy fairies. Um, Eugene is trying to not live alone. <laughs> Eugene's definitely having a midlife crisis. Uh, he was gone for years until the midlife was done. No, literally. Literally. Okay, we have our last little thing going. He's making all this food for her and he doesn't even eat food. So cute. So freaking cute. Um, and then we're gonna invite her over here in a second. Um, okay, he's placing this last one down. Cute. I keep doing these little playful things because I don't want him to get too playful and like, you never remember what happened with uh, uh, Fiona. Let's go invite her to hang out at current lot. It says she'll be right over. Perfect. Okay, let's get dressed, sir. Um, let's go ahead and put on, I don't know, just like your regular old, well, just do like the black shirt. And then um, let's go ahead and put these plates outside. Wait, why can't I? Okay, there we go. I'm going to drop them all out wait can i not put them in a cute little arrangement what the hell okay i'm gonna put them in his inventory for right now and then i'll just put them out there if i can where did the cupcakes go oh in the lamp 
in the lamp. Excellent. Excellent. Sunshine. Um, well, it's about to be dark, and, and Flynn has learned how to not burn up in the sun. Thank God. Um, yeah, there we go. Let's go ahead and become, he, it's only temporary that he can do this, but a little temporary thing on him using his vampire powers to not burn up in the sun. Um, so we're going to come down here. I'm going to try to put this stuff down. How come I can't? Okay, there we go. <gasps> Very cute. Very, can I turn it? Now, I wish I could put this all like a little bit closer. Um, actually, I might try in build mode. Hold on. Hold on. Does Frankie not know he's a vamp? No. Well, honestly, everybody's probably about to find out at Camp Occult. Move objects on. Thank you, Wholesome Ghost, for sending us up. Thank you so much. Okay, I can move it in here. Cute. Cute. You just know Vidya is about to be simstagramming this. You just know that she's about to be bragging about this shit. Thank God Karma's not on social media. Oh, he's feeling... Some, aw, sometimes I get so angry that I don't know what to do with myself. How can I deal with things when I can't even? And then his dad's only option is to say, do a workout. He's gonna have a trauma bond to working out. Literally. Literally. Yeah, Camp of Colts about to be a dead giveaway. No, literally. Um, He is feeling uh really... Oh, he's feeling feverish, too. Oh, shit. Do you need orange juice? Oh, he can't drink orange juice. Hold on, let's order him some medicine. Hold on. He can't even drink orange juice. Purchase gifts. Uh, Medicine. Not the feverish vampire. Go ahead, take some medicine really quick. He's venting to his dad. Eugene just real. Oh, both of them are sick. I'm gonna let Eugene feel that illness. Sorry, Eugene. Where's Vidya? Is she standing us up? Is she in the apartment or is she standing us up right now? Oh, she's here. I was about to say, this fucking heifer, like, okay, let's go ahead and um, add her to a group with us. And we are going to, um, um, you'd think an immortal wouldn't be able to catch a common cold. Let's, um, oh, they can only meditate on these pillows. They can't fucking sit. Hold on, let me change these pillows to ones they can actually sit on. My bad. Um, I guess I'll have to do these, like, huge ass ones. Um, but that's fine. That's fine, too. Boop, boop, boop. Cutie. Thank you, Pussy Key. Thank you, Jenny. Oh, I didn't mean to put that third one. Oopsies. I'm super late, but I wanted to pop in and say, hey, hello. You're not too, too late. I did play a video, but I'm going to play it again here in a little bit, so have no fear. Let's go ahead and seat her right there, and then seat him right here. Oh, wait, no, you don't sit. You come light this fire. You come light this fire, because he's going to want to make the whole ambiance right. I just joined, what are we doing? Well, Flynn is setting up a little picnic for his girlfriend, Vidya. I'm gonna, well, I guess I'll leave her in that outfit, but it's not very cute. Did your fever break? Um, every time I take medicine, it does, but I still am, like, waking up with, like, fevers. Um, he's feeling, uh, very thirsty and also stinky. I'm gonna fix his stinkiness. I believe he has a plasma, yeah, eat the plasma fruit in your thing. Just sitting over here while she's, he's just drinking it down. She's looking at him too like, hmm, that's weird. That's really weird. Not Eugene coming out here with his worms. Not him coming out here with his worms. Go drink some OJ Pixie. <laughs> now Flynn, now Flynn, go tell him to go away. Go tell him to, oh my God. If she hasn't grabbed any of the food yet. Um, well, Flynn, why don't you come sit over here with her? Um, no biggie. Oh, he tries to be the cool dad. Mid-plasma drink? Uh, not Eugene be like the mom of mean girls. Let's, um, um, oh, they can go cozy up at the bonfire together. I guess she's not hungry. That's fine. Eugene, not him dancing by the fire right now. There's not even any music. Uh, the awkwardness. <laughs> this is so bad. <laughs> this is so bad. Oh my god. Oh. Okay. <sighs> uh, I don't know. We should let Eugene by the fire unsupervised. Oh my 
my goodness. <laughs> no, the literal secondhand embarrassment of Flynn trying to like set up this whole cute thing for his girlfriend. And his dad's just over here about to pass out. Oh. Oh, Vidya said, I actually have a cool trick. <laughs> she said, I actually have a really cool trick if you want to see it. <laughs> oh my god. Are we sure Eugene isn't part of the occult? <laughs> Eugene, go to bed. When the woman Eugene lost his marble, she's really doing a whole. He's cheering her on, too. He said, Oh, hell yeah, that's cool. That's really cool video. <laughs> okay, bitch. <laughs> um, <laughs> Flynn was really just trying to have this cute ass romantic night that he planned. It's just turning into chaos. Um, let's go flatter her with her cool moves that she just did. Um, um, and then we'll also, uh, uh, do a little, um, a little kiss, perhaps. She keeps talking about, like, trash and moving. I don't know. Divorce really got him bad. Now you're trying to show off to Eugene. Oh, not him lowering his hand all the way down there. Damn, Flint. She said, how about you bring that back up a little bit? She said, how about you bring that up a little bit? Um, okay. Okay. This girl is on fire. Um, but there, I mean... Here, let's get them to take a little picture together, too. Why not? While we're out here. Um, take photo with video. Uh, why is Morgan Wolf here? Morgan, we don't even like you. We don't even like you. I'm sorry. Flynn hates your ass. <laughs> Flynn thinks he's grown. No, literally. And take a little picture. Do a little random one. Another little random one. I don't like that one. That reminds me of uh, Shrek Lee. Do a little photo there. Thank you, Lisa. That'll be all. Flynn's so adorable. <laughs> Flynn is so adorable, but I'm interested to see him, like, if the other girls try, not other girls, if the other guys try, like, fuck with him at Camp Occult. Or, like, fuck with someone he cares about. Like, for example, like, Steffi's going to Camp Occult and other people or his girlfriend or whatever. Like, I'm interested to see how he reacts, especially after, like, all this, um, training that he's had. I'm going to really quick play that video again that I played earlier for people who weren't here. Um, and then we're going to be switching over to, um, Sparkplug's family because her and her whole family with her kids and stuff and Grandma Doris are going to be going on vacation. So we're going to be switching over to them. Um, but I'm gonna replay this video again so y'all enjoy this. So that was a video if you missed it earlier um 
Is he having Rocky? Uh, love that movie. Love, love that shit. Um, anyways, I'm gonna, of course, stethoscope is over at Doris's house right now. Let's go ahead and go to Sparkplug's house really quick so we can plan their little, um, uh, Daisy said, uh, no, I'm dangerous. <laughs> No, literally, she is Daisy Dangerous, or Daisy Danger. Um, amazing, amazing. I forgot some of the kids aged up. Yes, yeah, some of them, um, um, aged up. I'm excited. So I want to take them to the beach, um, and also just on a little trip, so we can kind of like get to see her other kids' little personalities coming in. Um, so we have Reapley, who's recently aged up. He passed his twin siblings, and then. Her other kids are little, and then the youngest one is Hexagon, who just aged up as well. This little spark plug, this uh little spark plug right here, honestly loving the cozy vibes today. It's cold and rainy here. Aw. Um, I wish it was cold and rainy here right now. I would love those vibes tonight whenever I'm working on my book. Oh my god, y'all. With writing my book, I'm really, I'm... Oh my god. Oh my god. Last night, I feel like I had, like, a religious experience <laughs> with writing my book. Um, anyways, uh, uh, we need to go ahead and plan the trip. Um, take a vacation. All of the family plus Doris. Okay, we've got do 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 do. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I wish we could take Jerrica with us, too. Jerrica would love to go on vacation. We don't have a free spot for her. Otherwise, I would try to invite, uh, uh, Jerrica. The way I need that book in my hands. Hopefully, hopefully, oh my god. I'm hoping that I can finish and be querying it, like, this year. Like, I honestly want to have it, like, starting to send out to publishers like this fall to hopefully be released after that so the pace that i'm writing right now um uh is possible um so let's go ahead and plan this vacation we like jerica but dislike morgan uh well yeah they're two whole different people and morgan's always fucking stank every single time she's around anybody now, I don't know what the fuck Morgan's problem is and why she's all fucking stank, but every single time we're around her, except for the fact that on Patreon, Morgan was nice to Jerrica. Now, it might be a little green bean type of situation where she's like, another green girl slaying it? Uh, hell yeah, brother. But in general, Morgan is always fucking, uh, rude. I don't know. Um, we've had snow, hail, bright sunshine in a week with a 10 degree temp increase. Oh my god. Why is Spark still in a party dress? <sighs> His spark plug. You know how it be. Um, so we're gonna go to this rental. Look at Doris! She's ready to go on vacation! <laughs> Always ready to go on vacation. I love her. I love Doris so fucking much. <laughs> also, I can't believe I'm going on that book retreat. Um next month like also it's sold out another thing so y'all know how or you might not know if you weren't here the other day um but i signed up to go on a book retreat because uh it was like all inclusive and only 200 dollars. and i saw it the same day i got my tax return and i was like it's a message from god um and uh um, 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 um. anyways it's next month for like three or four days in tennessee and I can't believe it's only, like, a month away. Um, there's also someone who watches my streams going, at least one person, because she commented in the, like, group thing, saying, like, oh my god, I love your streams, whatever, and I was like, oh, thank you. Um, can't wait to meet you. Uh, so that's crazy. Thank you, Jenny! You'll be in my state. I'm considering, what I was about to say is, I'm considering doing a meetup while I'm in Tennessee, like a planned out one. Um, but I don't want to plan a meetup if nobody's gonna come meet up, you know what I mean? Um, so, if any of y'all are near, I think it's in Sevierville where we'll be at. Um, so if any of y'all are near there or within driving distance or whatever and would be interested in me doing a meetup next month, let me know. Um, and I might make it happen. So, anyways, um, this is, wow, they really, they got in late at night late at night 
Um, so here is the uh, the house that we'll be staying at in Sulani. Um, and uh, obviously they live out in the mountains, okay? They live out in the mountains. It's cold as shit where they live. So I know Sparkplug's gonna be glad to have this sun on her skin. Okay, stop it. I'll cry. <laughs> um, and uh, y'all better stream if you meet up. I have FOMO. I can be there 13 hours. I'm hoping to, okay, so while I'm on this trip, uh, the house and everything, like, I I'm gonna be kind of like paying attention to how they do it because it's like 80 people coming from all over the United States and maybe even further for this trip, like staying in a big house and they're gonna be doing this whole thing. I'm gonna really like try to pay attention and note things that work well and don't work well because next year I would like to be able to plan one of those myself for like a Pixarella themed, you know, retreat, you know, for like all of us that talk in the Discord so much and enjoy streams together for some people to be able to meet each other in real life and have like a weekend of, you know, us doing fun things. So that's another reason for me going on this trip is just to kind of see like how they do it with a bunch of different people that don't know each other from across the country and like how it, what things work and what things don't work. Um, so I'm about an hour and a half, what would the plan be? I don't even know. I'm just kind of like gauging uh, if there would even be people interested in doing a meetup. I've met several people in real life so far, but it's always been kind of random. I've never done an actual like meetup. Um, so, but I know that there's some people, at least one person going on the trip that was excited to meet me. And I was like, I wonder if there'll be anybody else that would want to meet me while I'm in. Oh, why is there two beds right here? What the fuck? Hold on bb dot enable free build i was wondering where that bed went earlier and i was like whatever i'll just fucking plop another one down and now look at it it came back um um um, um. sad times to be here in the uk y'all just let me know if you're near tennessee um or near severeville in tennessee let me know in the discord in the fucking in the pixie trip uh section let me know if you would be interested in me doing a meetup or not and i'll kind of gauge if there's enough interest to actually plan something for next month whenever i go or not um anyways so this is the uh the house that they'll be staying in for vacation very cute very freaking nice you know spark plug and grimace they're rich rich they are rich rich spark plug is a. Uh, you know she's bougie. She's become very bougie over the years. Um, now there's only one bedroom downstairs. It's the big bedroom. It's the nice ass bedroom. And guess who will be staying in this one? Doris and stethoscope. And you want to know why? Because it's a fucking ladder to go upstairs. You think Doris is climbing this ladder to go upstairs? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. So therefore, um, uh, Sparkplug and Grimace are gonna be in here, and then all the rest of the kids are gonna be in this, uh, uh, bunk bed type room. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. okay, so coming down here, I'm going to go ahead and assign the left side of the bed to Stethoscope and the right side to Doris. You know that Doris and Stethoscope were geeking about getting to go on this trip, and, you know, Stethoscope's girl that she loves her grandma, okay? She is not, uh, afraid to have a slumber party with her grandma. She loves her grandma. Um, we'll do Grimace in there and assign the left side of the bed to spark plug and then we'll do the other kids assign bed to hexagon assign bed to uh, Reapley assign bed to Moji and assign bed to matcha excellent excellent um cutie patootie so I think they're just gonna go to sleep for now what is this rare semi capsule where'd you get that spark plug what is this you got izzy fabulous oh i've never seen that before where the fuck did that come from is that new i oh my god spark plug's got so many baby footprints and birth certificates in her inventory this is crazy um i can help you if you end up needing food rags okay also thank you taylor for subscribing thank you so much it looks like everybody's heading up to their beds as they should. I think I'm just gonna lower everybody's sleep down so they can just wake up well rested 
in the morning. They're all still in their little snow clothes coming from the mountain. So cute. Aw, thank you so much. Hey, Mickey, for sending five subs. Thank you so much. And it just started a subway. Um, getting everybody's uh, stuff down. Um, and y'all don't forget that this Sunday I'm doing a subscribers only live as a thank you for all the subs that have been getting gifted and for those of you buying subs and everything, um, especially during that competition. So this Sunday's live is going to be really good. If you're on Patreon and not subscribed on here, it'll be uploaded to Patreon as well. So don't you even worry about it. Stuffy is so cute. She, look at Doris and her damn, oh my goodness. She is so cute. Thank you, Jenny, for the my session. Thank you, for the heart puffs. Um, do they have summer clothes? Yeah, they have summer clothes. They just don't typically wear them. Um, Stuffy, do you need your sleep put down? Don't tell me you can't sleep in the bed with Doris. Y'all should be close enough to be able to, don't tell me it's not going to let her. Oh, it says she can't get in it with Doris? Why? Why? Hold on, let me make their friendship higher, even though it should already be high enough. Run sheet. Okay, go ahead and go to sleep. And then Doris should be able to go to sleep too, I think. Where is she going? Why is she keep having to walk in random ass doors? Whatever, I'm not even gonna stress out about it. Anyways, um, I would have loved to see Aiden come along. He's at home with his daddy. He's at home with his daddy. Plus, oh my god, Doris, the stripes. I've got to get, you know what, I'm writing a note right now. I'm getting, I'm getting a mod to get rid of this sickness because I'm tired of their, not her spray in the house. She said, if I'm going to be eating in this house, I got to make sure it's actually clean. She said, I got to make sure it's actually clean. Thank you, Ashley, for subscribing. Get mod for getting rid of the fucking sickness. That's so grandma! <laughs> oh my god, the cleaning on vacation. No, literally. You know what, Doris? You might as well. What? Oh, I don't have control of her. Damn, I was gonna get Doris to cook some breakfast, but I she actually is just living living on her own right now. Um, Moshi, what you doing, babes? He's getting cereal in the middle of the night. Same. Same! <laughs> That's what the fuck I would do too. Thank you, Ashley, for subscribing. Oh my god, two Ashleys back to back subscribing. Thank you so much. Um, or a test. I'm sorry. What happened to Tess? Oh no. Oh no. I don't see the comment. I don't see the comment. Uh, crying because I just found out my grandma is dying today. Oh, I'm so sorry, Tess. Oh, I'm so sorry. So so sorry. Um, you can cheat and give them the sickness resistant trait. I want it for all of my sims. So I'm just going to download a mod that will just make it go away. Um, entirely. Actually, now I want some cereal. I miss cereal. Back before I found out I was gluten and dairy intolerant. Um, there is, of course, there's, you know, plant milk. And then there's, like, gluten-free cereal. But then when you mix all that shit together and it's not even cereal anymore. Doris giving a life lesson in the middle of the night right now. With her stripes. She's gonna be on the beach with her fucking stripes out. Doris, this is embarrassing. This is embarrassing right now. Um, I think the creator of the No Sick Dogs has one for all sims, too. I got the No Sick Dogs thing because I was tired of seeing uh, uh, Toothless constantly sick. Um, I die. I love my pasta and cheeses. Luckily, I wasn't a big pasta person prior to this. Um, just because I don't really love... Uh, this always sounds so weird when I say it. I don't love, like, meat and, like, wet meat and sauce. I don't know. Ugh. Like, the te specifically ground beef. Like, and I don't know if it's from being a kid and having so much nasty-ass spaghetti that was just, like, this ooey, like, yucky, fucking mushy ground beef mixed in a ton of sauce. I don't know. I don't know. Um, I love all the carbs and cheese. I'm still eating a lot of carbs or trying to. Like, I eat a lot of potatoes now. Like, I love throwing in a baked potato now. Spark plugs up. She woke up flirty. Girl, if she wants to come downstairs and watch some Roaring Vice, you know what? She's on vacation. I'm gonna let her, uh, I'm gonna let her do what she wants to do. Coming downstairs and want to watch her some Roaring Vice. And it's the first day of summer. Oh, y'all are rich, rich. Going to the beach the first day of summer. What is going on out here? What is this? 
What is this? What the fuck was that? That looked magical. That looked real, uh, magical. Meat doesn't go in sauce, I understand. Okay, somebody else has the texture issue. It's just like, ugh, I can't, ugh. OMG, a sweet potato can be a whole meal if you make it right. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. So good. So freaking good. Those are the island spirits. Oh, and they're in the house. Oh my goodness. Look at the island spirits. It's like a little body. Commune with... No, release... Wait, if, if we release them, will they come to life? I've never had this happen before. We have an island spirit in our fucking house right now. Spark plug's obviously gonna go talk to them. Oh, so she can't. Why not? Stethy, get in here. Oh, she's feeling embarrassed about her worsening acne. Girl, you're fine. The way I'm about to delete this bed so that she can talk to them. Thank you, Amanda, for sending a sub. Um, go commune with the spirits. Um, release. If, uh, you release them, will it, uh, 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 there's something wrong with the layout there. I, yeah, I'm... Yeah, something is incorrect. Hold on. I'm about to just delete the whole fucking bed for a second. Um, honestly, I might tear down that wall, too. The next time we're in here, you might see a whole different bedroom. Um, commune. Stethy, talk to them. Talk to the spirit. It looks like a lady. It looks like a lady. <gasps> what the hell? If I release it, will it, will it, what will happen? I don't know. I'm going to release the spirit and see what happens. I've got to see. <gasps> it's gone. Uh, I still see them. Wait. Where are they? Thank you, Michelle, for the hearts. Hexagon has a loose tooth. He should expect to lose it soon. Wiggling the tooth. Aw, I remember when... I remember when, uh... Oh. Aw, so cute. They, like, gave her some little, um... Some little magic dust or something. Um, bye. Bye. Um, I got in a fight with someone at school about which boy critter is more powerful. I said it was the Articorn, but he kept saying the Soonter. Which one is it? Uh, the Articorn, of course. What kind of question is that? I still see the little, the little spirits floating around. I wanted her to be able to release it. Where did it go? Does anybody see the big one? The mama? Does anybody see where she go, where she went? Did she go upstairs? No. No. To the heavens? <laughs> it says, Island Luck. Stethoscope has been granted good fortune, improving her skill and motive gains. Oh my goodness. Oh, it says she's releasing the spirits now. Is she? Is she? I love how they're all floating around. How cute is that? Look at the brothers in the kitchen right now. And Doris over here just talking to them. Let's sweat. Uh, Mochi feels amazing. Should he firmly embrace that he, with his astonishingly sculpted arms, that he likes fitness? Oh, Mochi. Babes, you're only, like, ten years old. He's talking about he's got astonishingly fit arms. Okay, Mochi. <laughs> okay, Mochi. Whatever you say. Um, these brothers are in here talking. Reaply's like, yeah, yeah, whatever you say, Hexagon. And then they apparently just got a new little thing. Um, <gasps> did I just see Nyla Boom? <gasps> Nyla Boone. No, literally gone too soon because Nyla Boone, what happened to you? Not Nyla Boone. No, literally Nyla Boone. If you don't know who Nyla Boone is, in the beginning, the beginning of the Shrekiverse, she came over, honestly, on the worst day possible, in the middle of a birth, in the middle of the, the swamp. And I believe it was the same day that Fiona died and she showed up talking about she's related to Doris. Now, Doris was like, well, that's weird. Uh, that is very bizarre because um, Doris doesn't come from this realm. So it would be really weird if Nyla Boone was actually her family member. Could you imagine when, uh, 
I guess I won't give a spoiler if you haven't watched the Doors prequel, but could you imagine if uh, later down the road we see Nyla again? <laughs> that would be wild. She made such an entrance. She really did. Anyways, he just had like this little thing with, oh, I thought he had like a little thing with Hexagon, like a new little, yeah, he does, cooking together. I guess he says his little brother is helping him. And then everybody else is sitting at the table. Doris at the head of the table talking. She's just happy to be here. She don't care that her bed just got deleted. Another one will get put in. And Mochi and Macha are sitting at the table talking to each other. I do love um, Spark Plug's little family. I'm going to get her since she's uh, flirty to go have... Wait, what happened to her? Should I be more lenient? She's constantly having mom guilt. She is constantly having... Um, mom guilt she said should i be more lenient she's wondering if all these strict rules and high standards are worth upholding for her usually well-behaved family members she's talking about stethoscope uh thank you wholesome girls for sending us up thank you so much what's he doing is he upstairs smoking a cigarette or is he just woke up let's get her to come up here and we'll please god don't try for a baby i can't do no more kids spark plug you don't had enough kids i got children being born with other families you don't had all your kids um, oh, not her saying woohoo! <laughs> Maybe try single beds or Dor Doris, and Doris and Steffi. Yeah, I might do that. Um, um, new family dynamic jokesters. Doris and Ripley just can't stop cracking each other up. Oh, that's cute. That's cute. She's 40 wanting a baby. That was my mom. Me and my sister are 22 years apart. My youngest sister. Um, she's two. Uh, remember when we thought she couldn't get pregnant? Yeah, and she done have more kids than anybody. She done had the most kids out of everybody. Um, it looks like everybody's just kind of making their own breakfast. Doris is just happy to be here. Doris is real life just happy to be here. Honestly. Um, me and my sister are 18 years apart. Yeah, what the fuck is up with our parents, bro? <laughs> like, could you, first of all... I mean, for those, if any of y'all have kids or, like, have a huge age gap, is that not fucking jarring to go from this little dude, this little dude, you know, since they're 24 years apart, look at this little guy outside getting his tan on, getting his tan on, I'm 16 years apart from my half-sister, oh yeah, my little sister is technically my half-sister, too. Um, there's 12 years between my oldest and youngest. Aww. Um, they had empty nest syndrome. My mom said it was an accident, but I don't know. I don't know. She had got her a new man's and he didn't have any kids. So I don't know if I believe that, but it doesn't really matter. The baby's here now and we love her. We love her. Introvert of the family. I want them to go to the beach definitely before we end this live i want to see them all on the beach so let's bring them to the beach really quick and then i'll play that video for y'all again who want to watch it again or um haven't seen it yet um let's go karma we wish you could come spark plug doris reapley moji matcha uh grimace and is there any more of the kids not stethoscope not like in farquifa or earwax Hmm. Oh, hexagon. Okay, perfect. My mom's 24 years older than her, sis. Um, do they even miss karma? They sure as hell, uh, don't particularly act like it. Um, are we checking on karma and Reaper tonight? No, not tonight. It's not a Reaper and karma episode. Why doesn't she like Farquifa? Well, you gotta remember her mom doesn't like Farquifa. So it could be one of those situations where, you know, Spark Plug be talking shit. You know when your mom, not Maui, showing up for the day at the beach. Okay, here's my thing, baby matcha. You ain't gotta wear this puffer jacket everywhere. We're on the beach, baby. We are on, um, the beach. It's always Fifi, my poor girl. But you know, like, when your mom doesn't fucking like somebody and then, uh, you know, she talks about it and you kind of, like, growing up, not, grow up not really liking them oh my god there goes my girl emily i wonder if emily's watching right now hey emily the prettiest mermaid around look at how cute she she's so tan she's so tan and gorgeous hey girl with her cutie little tattoo 
Hey girl, Spark holds a grudge. No, she does. She literally does. Emily making her sandcastle. Mochi Mantra, there's a real life mermaid over here. They don't even know what to do with themselves on the beach. Oh, Ripley said, I'm getting in the water. He put his hair up in a bun and he said, I'm getting in the water. Generational beef. Spark plug is so Libra. No, she is. She really is. I'm gonna get Spark plug to come. Um, uh, you know, I'm gonna get her to come play. Everybody should get in the water. Everybody needs to get in the water, damn it. We paid all this money to come on vacation. You're all getting up. Oh, he said, I'm bringing my food. He said, I just woke up. I ain't even fucking ate yet. Okay. Okay. Grimace with your fine ass. With his fine. This man ages like fine wine. Fine wine. I mean, uh, look at all her kit. Okay. What? I. Okay. Matcha, you are overdressed for everything. <laughs> She, oh, don't bust your ass, spark plug. Damn. Damn. Now they're getting in the water. Oh, she fell down. She's back up. Um, they're all just waiting around in the water. Look at this family. I gotta take some photos. I gotta take some photos. Because why are they all so cute? Oh, he was floating for a second. Grimace lost, lost his abs. They come and go. I feel like sometimes he has them and sometimes he doesn't. But he also just ate. So that could be part of it. Dora says she needs to take a nap. Girl, I'm gonna put you in your... Okay, I was gonna put her in bathing suit, but it won't let me. That girl is knocked out. Okay, Grandma. Okay, Grandma. Uh, Masha prepared for anything on this, uh, trip. Sparkplug did not just toss that ball into the ocean. <laughs> not Sparkplug tossing the whole damn ball. Look at how she looks at her, man. It don't matter how many years goes by. That is her fucking man. Look at this little guy. Earlier, he was aw he's away from his family at all costs. At all costs. <laughs> he's away from his family every fucking chance he gets. <laughs> They're all over here. <laughs> and he's over here. <laughs> he needed this vacation. <laughs> saying he had powerful muscles that was his brother over here that was mochi that said he had powerful muscles matcha got her whole day a oh, girl please stop falling on the ground i've got to fix their glitches i've got to this family drains me <laughs> hexagon is a vibe my bad no it's easy to um mix them all up it's definitely easy oh she's glowing with the island spirit stuff john snow just walking by all casually. Look at Sparkplug's little um, back tattoos. So cute. Also, whatever she's doing in yoga and Pilates and whatever, she looks good as fuck. She looks good as fuck. She is toned and she looks good. He's like, I'm gonna relax. No, literally. Sparkplug's so cute in her little thing. Dora's just knocked out in the background. So freaking cute. It's 2 a.m. here. I'm gonna have to go, but I love you. Thank you and good night. I love you too. I'm gonna be wrapping up here in a second anyways. Um, second grade is so stressful for He turned away from him, too. He turned completely away. Ain't got time. Ain't got no motherfucking time. Uh, Doris needs a beach book. No, really. This family deserves a little vacation. They are one of my favorite families. So freaking cute. Big family with a lot of big personalities in this family for, um, sure. I am going to replay the video I played earlier and then I'll be back for a second and then we will move over to the discord so enjoy this little like one minute long video for the last time if you missed it or if you wanted to rewatch and I'll be right back.
is the end of the live. We will be discussing all of this in Discord after this. I appreciate y'all supporting me and letting uh, me tell these stories and everything. I just love it so much and love y'all so much. Thank you, Lisa, for the confetti. I hope everybody has a wonderful night, and I'll see y'all tomorrow night, Friday night, for the Occult Baby Challenge. Good night. Love you.